John, how are you? Really nice to see you. Thanks uh, for being here. Just uh, good day, Dean, in Australia. Thank you for being here. And Brian, of course. Good stuff. Yes, Brian, how are you tonight? Uh, it's very hot here tonight, actually. Uh, mosquitoes, so you're going to slap uh, myself a few times. Good day, Jack. Uh, nice to see you here. Thank you for being here. And uh, we're just trying to determine, Jack, what the uh, feel, feel of view is of this image here and determine what the F ratio is. Uh, uh, Joe is on here, and uh, uh, he just said hello to you there, Jack. And uh, he's trying to determine... Uh, uh, what the F ratio might be on this. This is the um, this is the focal reduce I showed you, Jack, through the uh, through Skype. Uh, that's the uh, number two, if you wish. And uh, the field flattener works perfect. Uh, the stars are perfectly fine right across the uh, the field of view, and the uh, field flattener works very very well. And correction is. Uh, uh, responding very well to the Ricci Crecia optics, which uh, is impossible to use those on the RC normally, and uh, that seems to be uh, uh, quite uh, quite acceptable the way it is. Oh, don't tell me you got the uh, you got the sixteen, John? Do you? <laughs> I should go in the house and look at this. Yeah, you better laugh. I think that's why the internet slows down. The damn TV is hooked up on the internet, and I can't uh, unhook it from uh, the internet. <laughs> yeah, bitch is using bandwidth. <laughs> no wonder it looks a little bit uh, rough. I like to see that on a 60-inch, but uh, it's not completely dark yet. Uh, that's why the sky is blue in the background, but here, let me uh, change the uh, white balance. We're going to go to black and white. There you go. Here's the black and white uh, image of it. Let me do uh, some basic adjustments. Uh, pay attention to M57 here. Um, we are going to increase the uh, sharpness. There you go. This is nice, actually. Wow. Okay, this is uh, very, very good. Let me change the APC a little bit. And, uh... Oh, this is nice and sharp. Okay. Anyways, uh, I'm not too sure what the uh, feel of you is on that, guys and girls. I'm just using a, uh... A 15-inch laptop. I was going to bring the Alienware, the other one. Set it up in here tonight, but uh, didn't have a chance. Yeah, that's for sure. She doesn't have mosquitoes. I got them all, so <laughs> they're uh, they're quite hungry tonight. I really like. I'm seeing on the 12-inch monitor. That's the. Uh, uh, yeah, it's super hot. Uh, we're we're close to 90 degrees here today, Jack. With well, humid X tomorrow is going to go up over 100, and uh, uh, it's super, super hot. I couldn't work around the house today. It was just too hot. Uh, so I started to set up here tonight uh, at about 6 o'clock or so. I'm looking at the 12-inch monitor, Jack, that uh, uh, the uh, prototype that you sent back uh, some time ago. And uh, I tell you, that monitor is just incredible. I really, really like what I'm seeing right on the screen. Uh, this gorgeous image. Uh, uh, it can barely say the angle at all on it. And that's uh, it. completely different from what we're seeing here at the moment. Oh, this is nice. Uh, very happy with the uh, star pattern. Uh, very, very. Interesting. Yeah, probably. 
<laughs> from rough handling, yeah, but most likely that's Jack. Yeah, most likely that's what happened. They played football with the darn thing, and uh, by the time it made it back here, uh, it was all uh, fixed up. Wow, this is nice, actually. Uh, we've got a very nice set picture here tonight. Uh, mind you, it's very, very hot, so... It's not bad at all. Not too bad at all. Oh, Jack, you got to see this. I'm going to take pictures of it. Uh, I've got a big uh, cardboard envelope uh, in the van, and the rest of this stuff is in the house. I mean, it's uh, it's just horrible. Let me put it that way. But uh, it is what it is. I mean, it does happen. This is 20-second exposure, folks. We're going to jump that up to 30 seconds. Uh, that will magnify the stars a little bit, and we're going to see what kind of uh, result... Uh, we're going to get out of that. That sounds good, Brian. Sounds very, very good. Uh, uh, that's what I'm using tonight, the extreme. Uh, this one, though, is... Uh, uh, has been converted with the as the XT model. Basically, what uh, this one has uh, is uh, it's got a chamber. It's got the uh, the optical glass at the front the, uh, to seal it, and it's got argon gas in it, and that's it. That's the only thing I've done to uh, this uh, camera. I've got a bunch of cameras here. The one on the 16 inch is raw. It has no uh, uh, no optical window, no argon gas, and this one does. Um, but there's no fan on them. Uh, mind you, it runs fairly hot tonight. It's high, high mid 80s at least, and uh, it's very, very hot here and humid. Stars are twinkling quite a lot here. Uh, looking at them now through the slit of the dome, and uh, it's not the best, that's for sure. But hey, uh, we're getting a decent image, and uh, what I'm testing here uh, tonight is the focal reducer. Really, really, really like what I'm seeing here. I think uh, this is going to be a winner. I really like it, Jack. Uh, I don't know. I think Chris has. I don't know if Chris has the four to weight chip in it. Uh, I, uh, I, this is my own personal preference. I much prefer the, uh, I much prefer the, uh, the 4 to 8. Uh, that, that's me. I mean, uh, each his own, obviously. Um, but the, uh, the 8 to 8 also works very, very well. Well, this is pretty well. What it, uh, what's happening there, Jack? I'm trying to look for the uh, the reference star, but I think the reference stars. I I, I call it the pinwheel, if you want. At 11 o'clock from uh, M57, there's a group of stars, uh, six of them, and they're kind of in and uh, and in, in the center of that circle, this is not a star. I actually see it. Good day, Glenn. Nice to see you here, Glenn. Uh, I'm very glad that you're on. Yeah, we do see a 1296, Jack, and uh, holy Moses, I think that's going to be pretty wide on this thing. I hope the image looks okay for you folks. Uh, the bandwidth here is really not good. The internet sucks. The neighbor <laughs> Yeah, we do see a 1296. It's towards a little bit uh, the end glow. Uh, it's faint, but it's there. Of course, we're not uh, totally dark yet. Uh, let me go uh, uh, check that. Not quite, but we're getting there. The darkness is getting closer. It's, uh, we still got a little bit of blue uh, in the background. 
Yeah, we could see a 1296 fairly well. All right, we'll go back to uh, the auto color, uh, auto uh, uh, correction for the uh, for the color. And I'm running at uh, gamma 45, maybe gamma one uh, may show us a little bit, a little bit uh, better. Let me see what we can do here. Yeah, one. So now we're getting really nice dark background. The AMCO is reduced. I uh, got quite a lot at my end here. On the 12 inch monitor, I do not see the AMCO at all. Obviously, the dynamic response of the monitor is completely different than the capture device. Okay, astrometry is having issues. I don't know, if Jack, uh, if you got anything uh, handy to determine the field of view we're having and what the F ratio might be, actually. Um, I'm just dying to know, but I know it's, I would estimate on that 8 inch it's uh, to be about F3.3, F3.5, give or take. And uh, the uh, field of view is perfect. Um, stars are flat right across. Um, right across the field. Uh, there's no vignetting whatsoever. And this is one of the things I was worried about uh, is uh, vignetting. This is a very, very successful uh, test. I had a neighbor uh, firing up some uh, fireworks here tonight, so it's quite a commotion. Wow, this is nice. Uh, star pattern for the video is uh, it's quite nice, actually. Okay, we're going to reduce the APC a little bit. And uh, we're going to get a little bit better rounder stars. All right, there we go. That's not bad at all. And of course, uh, software that I'm using is the Malikam Extreme uh, Control that we have uh, for free on the uh, on the website. Hopefully, we still brought earlier. This thing quit. I don't know how many times. Um, let's just hope uh, the bandwidth hold and hold and. Uh, We'll be able to uh, continue broadcasting. I am going to add another lens to the focal reducer after. No, uh, Glenn, but I tell you, they're right across the street, uh, the side street, actually, and uh, you certainly can see the fireworks really uh, nice. The wind's blowing the other way, so it took the smoke away from here. That's very nice. Oh, boy. Uh, there's a lot of stars in there. There's some hot pixels, of course, as well. But uh, the hot pixels, you will be able to see them as specific color, blue, green, or, or red, or anything like that. Uh, but I tell you, we're picking up quite a lot here. Um, it's quite interesting. The image is fairly smooth. And uh, what I really like, there's absolutely no vignetting whatsoever at all. And uh, the uh, field of view is completely flat. So it would appear that the uh, focal reducer is going to be a success on that. Once we determine what the, uh, the field of view is, and I don't have anything here to uh, in this specific dome. I have all of that in the other dome, but in this dome here, I'm sitting right by the scope uh, uh, top. It's a, uh, a Lenovo uh, ThinkPad a T510, a business type with a solid state uh, hard drive and 4 gig uh, memory only and the processor is an i5 and Windows 7 Pro uh, you know Mitch I really wish we could actually uh, uh, we, I really wish we could uh, turn off the internet on the TV uh, not too sure we're going to have to do that but I just would like to unplug the damn thing let it sit overnight and, you know, plug it back again. Uh, that, basically, it, uh, that doesn't matter. It always stays connected. I was able to detect it with the Alienware, and it detected anything that's hooked up on 
our internet and that TV one is always on. Oh, I see what you did. All right. Okay. All right. No, that's cool. No, you could probably stay on. Well, we just got to watch and see. Let's hope the image doesn't get too uh, pixelated. And uh, you'll see that at your end, actually. If it gets too pixelated, uh, we, we're just suffering for internet. That's the disadvantage of moving out, uh, out of town. Um, they got crappy internet, that's for sure. <laughs> Sounds good, Glenn. Thank you very much. Glenn, I ordered another Alienware, by the way, because I need USB 3 now. And it's the only one that I could find that had uh, really good uh, USB 3s all around. There's no USB 2, so I ordered another 17 inch. We'll give these guy uh, another go at it. If not, the river's right across here, and there's, we're going to have a few alien wares landing on there. Mind you, we could probably use them for certain. <laughs> Okay, if it looks pixelated, like big chunk of blacks all over the place, this is uh, internet too slow at my end. Uh, okay. Well, that sounds good, Glenn. I'm glad, actually. Uh, I'm very glad there, Glenn, actually. Uh, I finally got mine going okay, too, downstairs. I actually put split cam on it today and uh, made it run on it really, really well. It worked really well with the universe, the SSI. Uh, I was really, really happy with the performance of it. So let's hope the other one's going to be just as good. <laughs> I know what you mean about the sledgehammer. Oh, Jack, okay. So we're about uh, 20 degrees. Uh, not 20 degrees. 20 heart minute. <laughs> and 24 diagonally. Okay. And this is the 8 inch, so it, I, I'm not sure if there's a way to determine the uh, uh, F ratio. I'm sure that there is. I'm going to work at that a little bit later and uh, and see what kind of result we're going to get out of this. So obviously there's an issue with the 16 inch being uh, showing a lot of coma, uh, yeah, coma on it. Uh, uh, I think the accessories I have coming out at the back of it with the uh, field your rotator and the electric focuser might be too much and we're not focusing in the right place with it. Now we've got a very good stable image here. I hope it's not jammed. <laughs> and uh, it's not bad at all. Yeah, I just saw the refresh. All right, it's still going on live. Um, what I might do is uh, I get up here and put a uh, another lens in it. I've had another lens that'll bring it up to eight lens system to determine what the um, if it will be able to take all, um, and if we could increase further the uh, f ratio. Um, if you don't mind, I'm going to uh, stop uh, about a moment. Yeah, actually, uh, split cam seems to work pretty good. I've played with mine today, Jack, uh, on the Alienware, and that thing worked really, really well with it. Uh, uh, the internet jammed a couple of times, of course, but once... Uh, I guess it settled somehow. I was able to change the screen resolution uh, of uh, split cam, and this is how I got a much better image. Not necessarily bigger or anything, but the resolution got changed to a much bigger format, and the image became really, really nice, actually. So I was uh, uh, fairly impressed with it. And that might be one of the tools that we could use for that. Wow, this is pretty good then, Jack. Very, very good. You've got good internet, obviously, uh, uh, where you are, and the new computer you purchase uh, certainly does. Uh, uh, it does wonders for what uh, you're going to be doing. Yes, yeah, Split Cam is free, Glenn, and uh, completely free. It's a bit tricky to get going, though, but once you do, you're fine. One of the trick, it always stays running in the background. 
Uh, they've done some improvement to it. I just saw the list of what they've done to, today uh, when I downloaded on the Alienware, and uh, you need to double click on it to fire up the, uh, to, to boot up the, the program. You gotta go into the file and exit. Not until then that thing will uh, not stop working, otherwise it runs it all the time. So when you have other, uh, example, if you're gonna broadcast on NSN, and uh, you're going to see the list of the different items you got. You're going to see uh, MCV1. You're going to see your webcam. You're going to see split cam. You're going to see a bunch of other things if you do have uh, uh, different cameras. I've got about eight of them on the Alienware. And uh, what you need to do is pick the right one, and uh, you're good to go. Yeah, the only thing that's missing there, Jack, uh, is the sharpness. But we could gain that back using the software here, and it's not a big deal. Uh, even with the, um, uh, I was going to use the uh, uh, the unit on the side inch and uh, give it a try. I wish it would have the brightness. I did send them an email about uh, not brightness but sharpness. Send them an email about it. I haven't heard from them. Their uh, the copyright was updated uh, uh, in 2012, but the actual file was updated in July of this year, so a month ago. Uh, they've done some changes, so I find it works a lot better than before. Oh my goodness, look at the spiders we got here. Okay. Okay, I'm locked in. Whoa! Well, this is neat. Uh, the whole door has a uh, spider web. I think this party wants to eat me. All right. I don't know if I need somewhere. Anyway, so I'm going to get up, folks, and uh, I'm going to go put a lens, uh, an extra lens on the focal reducer and see the result. I really